Hello YouTube, Spade MC Gamer here and uh, today I'm back with another mod installation tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders mod for Minecraft 1.4.7. Um, you're going to need four different uh, downloads for this mod. Uh, you're going to need the Shaders mod, uh, Minecraft Forge, Optifine and the SEUS Seus version 10. Uh, that's Sonic Eaters Unbelievable Shaders is what that stands for. Um, some of the downloads do say 1.4.6 on them, but it doesn't. That doesn't uh, come into play at all. Um, uh, once your Minecraft Forge uh, is is updated, everything else will work, uh, as you'll see later on in the video. Um, but um, just want to say that if unless you uh, if you if you're looking to install this mod, make sure you have at least a decent computer or a de decent graphics card or you know a good processor or whatever, because this mod does lag your Minecraft a lot. So make sure you, yeah, you, you, your computer can handle it. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so to get started, just go to the, the description and there will be four download links on Mediafire for these four different uh, um, downloads. Just download all four of them. And once you have them downloaded, bring them to your desktop, just like I have right here. So they're easier to work with and open and whatnot. Um, so yeah, so next you wanna go to your Windows icon and in the search bar, type percentage mark app data percentage mark that's a percentage mark a p p d a t a percentage mark just click enter this will bring you to your roaming folder and in your roaming folder you'll find your dot minecraft now if you want to back up your minecraft all you do is simply click that or right click on your dot minecraft folder copy and just out in your desktop press paste and that'll have your minecraft backed up so if you go wrong all you have to do is drag the paste pasted folder back into your into your um roaming folder and delete the one that you went wrong in so anyway to get started we're just going to go straight into our dot minecraft folder then we're going to go into our bin folder and you should see a, a file or a folder here called dot mine or minecraft or minecraft dot jar executable jar file it should be the biggest um file here uh, so what you want to do is left click it then right click it and open with an archiving program i'm using winrar now if you don't have an archiving program <laughs> Look up on YouTube, WinRAR for free download, and you should get a download. Uh, a free trial is what I'm using. Uh, so you can just use the free, tr free trial, and this pops up because it's a free trial, so just exit out of that. Um, first thing you want to do is delete the meta INF folder. Now, I've already deleted the folder, so I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Um, it's actually not there. So, <laughs> sorry about that. But um, I've actually already deleted the folder, so that's no problem. But it, sh it should be just, just right there, meta INF folder. So just delete that folder and uh, next you want to open up your Minecraft Forge and just exit out of that when that pops up and what you want to do is select, right click select all files and drag and drop into your um, uh, Minecraft.jar and press OK. Uh, then you can exit out of uh, Minecraft Forge and right now you want to run Minecraft just so Forge can uh, set up lots of different files and whatnot, as you can see, Minecraft or uh, Forge mod loader is setting up different files. So just let that do its thing for a minute. <coughs> okay, nearly finished. And here we go, Mojang. And as you can see, three mods loaded. If I go here, uh, Forge mod loader, Minecraft Forge. So that's perfect. You can exit out of that now. Next, you want to open up the Optifine download. So just open up Optifine and right click, select all again, drag and drop inside that folder again, minecraft.jar, and that's it. Uh, next you want to open up the shaders mod and do the exact same thing you did beforehand. Just put it to one side here, select all these in here, drag and drop inside your minecraft.jar, press OK. And last but not least you want to open up the, the CS or the, the Sonic Eaters Unbelievable Shaders. Now you will see different things here, texture pack, the SEUS and readme.txt. You can read that if you want, that tells you how to download or install or whatever. Uh, but just go into this one right here the, and then just do the exact same thing again. Select all these files, drag and drop inside your minecraft.jar. And right there there's actually a texture pack that goes with this mod, so that's it right there. If you want to use that texture pack you can, uh, so you know, just just put that texture pack if you want to use it. I'm not going to use it right now. So that's pretty much it, guys. Once you have all four installed the way I just showed you, you can run Minecraft now. I'll just log in. And here we go. So I go single player. I'll create a new world here. Might take a second to load just because I have all the mods and whatnot. And I am recording. 
as you can see it does tell you the new version of Optifine is there so if you want to go use the new version of Optifine you can uh, but as you can see the mod is working 100% perfect this is Minecraft 1.4.7 so um, yeah so I'll just uh, let me see if I can't find some water right here um, here's some water see the water looks extremely nice I have to say it's all like wavy and, and shady and whatnot. Um, let me see now some more water there and the trees of course the trees look really nice as well they all move and whatnot. and then the sun of course looks really epic if I just go behind a tree right here you can see uh, ooh, so there we go so yeah at the moment I'm only getting about 20 25 FPS guys and I have a quite a good computer so I'm sure if I if I messed around with the settings I could maybe get about 30 but I'd say that'd probably be the most that I could get out of it so make sure you have a decent enough computer to run this mod uh, otherwise you will experience a lot of crashing and problems uh, but anyway yeah so that's gonna be it for this video guys please leave a like if, if, it, if it worked or helped for you and uh, do subscribe I'll have lots more videos like this in the future so um, yeah so thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video